How's it going, YouTube? I would like to introduce my new project truck to you all. As you can see in the description of the video, it says, New Project Truck. Well, many of you know, I do have a 2001 Chevy Silverado 1500Z71 extended cab sitting right over there. Behind me is my family's 2005 Pontiac G6, which you've seen in a few videos. This is my new project truck. It is a 1992 Chevy Silverado 1500 or K1500. It is four-wheel drive. It has a 4.3 liter V6 with the old throttle body injection and a 5-speed transmission. Manual 5-speed. And it's got its fair share of issues. 230,000 miles, clear coats peeling up here. The hood's been painted black. The roof's been painted black. Dash has got a lot of cracks in it, but it was a very reasonably priced truck. Nothing too expensive. Very cheap. A lot of clear coat peeling in the bed up here. It used to have a toolbox on it. I've already removed the stickers from the rear window, and yeah, it's got a little bit of rust on the body, but we're going to learn to fix that. Got a dent right here. Tailgate does work. Uh, a lot more clear coat peel on it. You can see originally it still has the original sticker on it from where it was from. It does have a cherry bomb glass pack on it, so that little 4.3 does scream a little bit. And again, a little bit more rust on this side. We'll learn to fix that. A lot of clear coat peel on this side. This passenger side must have been out in the sun a lot. And it's peeling on the cab, door, down here on the door. A lot of scratches, peeling on the fender again, but good old truck. Got keys. So we'll open her up and see what it looks like. I prefer these old trucks, so these newer ones got an actual metal door handle. It's got a beautiful burgundy interior, which, again, to be 27 years old, this truck's, I think, in. Fairly good shape. Seat doesn't have any rips or tears in it. You know, the dash has a cracks in it. But aftermarket radio does work. Uh, glove box. Cup holders. Bench seat. You can pull the bench seat up in the back. You have jack storage, little tray back there. Not a ton of storage though. But we'll go to the other side. This is a Silverado edition, so it was a fairly loaded edition for just a standard two-door. See, this side doesn't have near as much clear coat peel on it. I hope you use the right key. See this side, door panel, a little bit of wear up here. We've got some wear on the seat, but again, no rips, no tears. Little separation of the vinyl right there, but nothing terrible. Lights do work. And this is a five speed manual. So, let's see. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, reverse. It is four wheel drive. Steering wheel's in great shape to be as old as it is. Horn does work. So we'll see if we can get this thing to start for us. A little noise from the HVAC system. have a tachometer but it does run good idles well again it's a 4.3 liter v6 produces about 160 horsepower 255 pound foot of torque. It is not carbureted. It is throttle body injection. The air cleaner was put on aftermarket. It is powered by distributor, but it runs good, smooth. You can tell it's a little 
loud on the exhaust with that cherry bomb on it. But nothing too, too terrible. Bed's in decent shape for a truck this old. No rust holes, just some surface rust and scratches. See how it sounds. A little backfire to it. <laughs> Gotta love the cherry bomb. But just simple old work truck. Nothing too complicated out of it. So, but figured I'd introduce it to the channel. There's going to be a lot to come with this truck. So stay tuned for that, and we'll catch you on the next one.